So luckily, I know a guy. Oh, you're gonna love her. She's pretty much up for everything. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see you, Lucy. Whilst trading barbs with Matt Ryan's John Constantine. Johnny! <laughs> oh, I'd like to say it's a pleasure to see you on my Earth, outside my club, it's not. During Crisis on Infinite Earths, Tom Ellis's Lucifer Morningstar pronounces his surname Constantine. Consider us even, John Constantine. <laughs> Constantine. Is it? I don't care. Always a pleasure doing business with mortals. Let me explain. The character first appeared as a background character in Swamp Thing 25, whereafter Beset the artist and uh, Tottleben the inker proposed a character based on Sting, the frontman of the new wave band The Police, to writer Alan Moore during his run on Swamp Thing. From issue number 20, January 1984, to number 64, September 1987, and officially appeared in issue 37. Moore chose to make him a chain-smoking, working-class... Maybe this isn't a good time. It's never a good time, mate. Warlock. Come, cult detective. Perda de consuma. Deja se no and added a heavy dose of cynicism backed up by deadpan wit that hides a ruthless and cunning character. Can't you see the spell is fueled by our own rage? Right you are, Ashox. If you all manage to think nice thoughts about butterflies, kittens, shite like that, the chains drop right off. I will kill you! Well, that's not a nice thought. The character was deemed a success and was given his own comic, Hellblazer, which ran for around 300 issues from January 1988 to February 2013 and November 2019 to October 2020. And in uh, 2005, the character arrived on the big screen and starred Keanu Reeves as a uh, Constantine. Please. What if I told you that God and the devil made a wager for the souls of all mankind? No direct contact with humans, that would be the rule. Just influence, see who would win. Demons stay in hell, angels in heaven. They call it the balance. And there lies the rub. Alan Moore is British, like myself, and we say Constantine. However, being a American production, they bump for the North American pronunciation, Constantine, thus changing the pop culture pronunciation forever, as it demonstrated in Matt Ryan's John Constantine Various Projects, and Joanna Constantine, played by Jenna Coleman, in Netflix's Rank Sandman series. I suppose this begs the question, why did Lucifer use the British pronunciation? Consider us even, John Constantine. I'm only summarising, of course, but perhaps the writers on the episode knew about Moore's dislike for his work being used in movies slash TV shows and had a laugh at his expense. Or perhaps the writers wanted to even the score and play on Tom Ellis' British nationality to poke fun at the American audience. Personally, I find them both amusing. However, for me, it's Constantine. Because that's how I first knew the character. But hey, you can pronounce it however you want. Because it doesn't change the fact Constantine Constantine is still one of the best DC characters ever created. If you like the content, please subscribe. Hit the like button and notification bell for new content. The curse to work. I had to channel Renee and Trish's love for you into and through Nagao. Every last bit of it.